So if I told you that there's a bank out there that will pay you money based on the number of steps you take per day. Sound too good to be true? Well, it isn't. Watch this video and I'll show you guys how you can get paid for being active. So the new bank is called Fitness Bank. I know, kind of a weird name, but it is a division of Affinity Bank, which has been around since 2002, which makes it a very reliable bank. So I think Affinity Bank was like, hey, how can we target new customers using a concept that really hasn't been done before? They're like, let's give the highest interest rate to people that uh, walk the most number of steps per day. And you know, it'll be a win-win. We'll have people that put their money in the bank with us. And then also, you know, we'll be encouraging people to work out be more fit and they'll be making money when they do that. So what most banks in the US offer right now is like either flat rates uh, for all balances. Basically what that means is no matter how much money you put into their uh, savings account, you get a fixed like 2% interest rate. Other banks work with balance tiers. So depending on how much money you have stored in the account, that's gonna determine the interest rate that you are getting. Now, Fitness Bank also uses tiers, but they don't care about how much money you're putting in. All they're caring about is how many steps you walk each day. So how much exactly could you be making uh, using Fitness Bank? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. If you walk on average over 12,500 steps each day, you're gonna be in their highest tier. You're gonna be making 2.75% on your money. Now, if you're between 10 and 12.5 thousand steps a day, you're gonna be in their second tier and that tier pays 2.5% interest which is actually still very high. Once you get down to uh, between 7,500 and 9,999 steps, that's when you're gonna be at their 1.75% interest tier. You know, not as good as Ally Bank, some of the other fixed rate banks, but still not too far from it. Between 5,000 and 7,499, you're gonna be at their 1.25% interest rate which to be honest is pretty low right now. So if you're only walking that many steps per day, if you're not gonna be motivated to get out there and put in a ton of steps, then this is probably not the best savings account for you. And then finally, if you're sedentary, if you don't really you know, work out, if you don't really run, walk that much, and you're getting in between zero to 4,999 steps per day, then I wouldn't even bother with this account. You're gonna be making 0.5% interest. That's actually still really good compared to Bank of America, Wells Fargo and Chase, but there are tons of alternatives out there that pay much higher. So basically the first thing that you do is you download their step tracker app. Once you have the app, they basically calculate the average number of steps you took uh, each day for the last month. For Fitness Bank, they actually let you get the full 2.75% interest, their highest tier, automatically for the first month. So you could be walking like 50 steps per day for the previous month based on your data, but they won't care. Uh, you get that highest 2.75% at the start. So one question that comes up is, how does the app know when to sync your data? So what you're supposed to do is, between the first and the third of the month, you're supposed to open up the app and it's going to calculate uh, you know, your average number of steps and send that data over to Fitness Bank. If you do forget to open up the app, uh, between the first and the third, then I think they just use the previous month's data. So, you know, maybe if you have the highest tier and you didn't walk that many steps for a month, then don't open up the app and just have it use your previous month's data. In terms of the actual amount of money that you need in your account, uh, you need at least $100 to open up this account and you need to maintain this $100 balance. Otherwise, you'll be subject to a $10 per month fee. So the reason why I think this is such a cool idea, you know, it's a little bit untraditional like you have to put in the steps in order to get paid but that's really cool because you can create groups with your friends you can have fitness challenges and it's just really going to you know when money's on the line it's really going to motivate people uh, to walk more to be more physically active i know that for me when money's on the line when i can be making more money that means i'm going to do whatever it takes now is this the best like general savings account there is out there I don't think so at all. You know, it takes a lot of steps in order to get the highest rate that you can get 2.75%. In order to get in this tier, you need to walk at least 12,500 steps each and every day. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm probably walking you know, five to 7,000 uh, steps per day. And even that I think is quite a bit. So in order to get that 12,500 steps, you're really going to have to be you know, actively going out there and walking. 
So all in all, you know, take a look at this chart, see which tier you might be in or which tier you think you can reasonably expect to be in based on the number of steps you're walking and then see if it's, you know, a reasonable account to open for you. Personally, I wouldn't put in too much money. I would just put maybe a few thousand dollars into this account and use it as a way to motivate yourself to get out there and be physically active. If you get the full 2.75% interest, then that's great. You know, that's really high. That's higher than most banks I've seen, especially right now when most banks are actually dropping their rates like crazy. So yeah, in summary, this is a really cool concept. You know, I'm really happy that they're doing something like this. It's just something that's out of the box. It's not traditional. And you know, I really hope that they can succeed with this type of savings account. I see comments online that say, you know, how are they gonna pay you more based on the number of steps that you're walking? Um, they don't make any more money based on the steps you're walking. So if you're walking 15,000 steps per day, they don't make any more money based on the money that you're putting in. They're just paying you more. So it's just like an incentive to be physically active. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Do not put your money in this if you don't care about you know walking or running as your main source of exercise. If you're hitting the weights at the gym, that sort of exercise is not going to be accounted for in the number of steps that you take each day. So don't be surprised when you have a super hard workout at the gym, you know, two hours of intense legs or whatever it is, and you only put on like 500 steps, it's entirely possible. Do get this account if you want a fun way to make some money. If you wanna put some of your savings into this account and use it as a way to motivate yourself to become more physically active, I think that's a wonderful idea. Don't put all your money in this bank. Seriously, it's just so much out of your control that would affect your rate, you know, in terms of, you know, some months you might not be able to get out and exercise as much. And then the next month, your interest rate is going to suffer a lot. Put most of your money in a more general fixed rate savings account like Ally Bank, and then put some money in this account and just have fun with it. Fitness Bank is FDIC insured, so that's definitely something you want to consider when you open up an online savings account. And no, I'm not getting paid by Fitness Bank for making this video. This channel is all about investing, about entrepreneurship, and this is a really cool idea that I feel like should be shared with the masses. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope you found the video informative. My channel is all about bringing you information about personal finance, about entrepreneurship, and just giving you guys the information you need to have a more successful life. Don't forget to like, and also don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.